Stakeholders in the banking and financial sector of the country have all agreed that there is need to recover to recalibrate the nation's economy to address the nation's economic downturn facing the country. This is as the 17th Annual Bankers and Finance Conference got to its second day in Abuja, the nation's capital, on Tuesday. It is a yearly gathering of bankers and financial professionals from across the country with the aim to evaluate the financial sector's performance in the year under review and find appropriate solutions to improve the nation's economy. The special guest of honor and president of the country, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who was represented by the vice president, Kashim Shetima, identified inflation infrastructural deficit as some of the challenges the nation is grappling with today. He, however, called for the recalibration of the economy through some macroeconomic stabilization policies to address the challenges. We have recognized the challenges and are deploying several initiatives towards addressing them. Some of these include for economic stabilization measures. We have taken bold steps to reform the macroeconomic environment. Our focus is on restoring confidence in the Nigerian economy through measures aimed at reducing inflation, stabilizing foreign exchange markets, and improving fiscal management. Poor painful in the short term, the removal of fuel subsidies is designed to free up budgetary resources for critical investments in infrastructure and social services and frequent adjustment of the monetary policy rate, a move aimed at curbing inflation and fostering a more market-oriented exchange rate system. In his welcome address, the president and chairman of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, Pius Deji Olayunwaju, took a retrospective glance on where the nation's economy was coming from and the critical solutions taken by the federal government to bring significant progress to the economy. The keynote speaker, who is described as a pioneer of African capitalism and group chairman of the United Bank for Africa, Tony Elumelu, blamed the current economic woes in the country on the over-dependence on imports, as well as the lack of political will by the government to address insecurity as part of the challenges facing the country. I believe it is expedient for us to look at where we are coming from to cast a retrospective glance on the previous conference we had. And that's why at this social ladies and gentlemen, I want to emphasize that our conference is not just a forum for discussion, but a platform for actionable outcomes. I'm pleased to report that critical resolutions that were taken, taken year before, notably, there has been significant progress you know, in many areas. As a nation, we import more than we export. And with the manufacturing sector struggling, and continued growth of our population will require more than just short-term interventions. We need a comprehensive strategy to support our vast and diverse population and unlock our potential. Nigeria is rich in resources, natural and human. But time and time again, we have failed to invest in our people and our value chain. Goodwill messages were made by stakeholders at the conference, but notably by the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, who berated the banks for aiding and con conniving with criminals to defraud the country of billions of dollars from the system. We are indeed not just critical stakeholders. We are more or less the prime drivers of inclusive growth. And because of that, our decisions and actions have significant consequences on the lives of millions and millions of Nigerians and indeed Africans. Sharp practices such as forex round tripping, defrauding of depositors through phantom charges and complicity in money laundering and illicit financial flows schemes involving politically exposed persons continue to undermine the integrity of the sector and by extension the nation's economy. It is my hope, therefore, that you will all look at, the, at yourselves in the mirror and leave this place with renewed commitment to professionalism and determination to provide services that will assist the growth and development of the Nigerian economy. 